<laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Amber Akar and I'm a certified animal trainer and pet expert. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts on the Jackson Galaxy Fat Cat Backpack. Now, this is a really popular cat backpack that's on the market, and I was able to test it out for free. So I will tell you that I was given this product for free to test it out and to review, but this entire review is going to be completely honest. I'm going to give you the things I like about it and the things that I don't like about it. So go ahead and watch the rest of this video. I'll put kind of the little details in the description below. If you have any questions on this specific backpack or on cat backpacks in general, go ahead and leave a comment and be sure to subscribe so that you can learn all different sorts of things about all the cat backpacks that we use and more. Now, as you can see, my cats absolutely love their backpack and so I want to point out that my cat is very comfortable in this backpack and he very clearly enjoys it. One of his favorite parts about the backpack is these little holes on the bottom that he loves to stick his paws out of. He finds it really fun. One of the things I love most about this backpack is that it can fit even the biggest of cats. This backpack can hold up to 25 pounds of cats. Now, that is a really big cat, so for me, that means I can put both of my cats in one backpack. Now, the next thing that I absolutely love about this backpack is that it can be used as a traditional carrier. So there's a strap up here and a strap down here that if I want to, I can actually carry it like a normal carrier. And this is really great if you're going to be flying with your cat or traveling with them and you can't have them sitting propped up all of the time. And he's very happy, as you can see, to have it this way as well. I also really love the material. It's extremely sturdy and I've used it quite a lot and the cats haven't yet to destroy it. So I'm pretty happy with that. One other thing I really like about it is that it has a leash clip attachment inside that's actually a little bit bungee. So it has a little bit of give and it's actually quite short. And I will tell you that a lot of the backpacks I have tried have a really long internal strap, which means my cat can jump out and hang out when they're still supposed to be attached to their backpack. So I do actually like how short this is. I don't use it too much, and so I haven't given it too much wear and tear, so I'm not able to tell you how strong this specific attachment is, but it feels pretty sturdy to me. <laughs> River. Now, another thing I absolutely love about this backpack is that when you zip it closed, it actually has a little clip here that I can attach to the other zipper. And this is a great safety mechanism, especially for those escaped cats in case they try to sneak out. So if I'm traveling somewhere and I want to make sure my cat is not going to get out, I actually use that clip to keep it closed. It also has a little clip here, which is fantastic if you want to leave the screen open. So you can just attach this here, like so to keep the screen open. And this is really handy if you're hiking with your cat and you just want to keep the top open, or if you're just leaving it open for your cat and you don't want the mesh to be getting in the way. <laughs> you guys are having so much fun. I also love that it has the side pockets. Now, as you can see, it does have a bit of wear and tear here, so this isn't the strongest material, and my cats do tend to play with their backpacks a lot. So when it comes to cat biting, the, the mesh on the pocket is not exactly the strongest mesh you'll ever see. But I do carry things like their leashes, water bottles, and more in the side pocket, so I really fill up these pockets to the brim. Now this backpack actually has a lot of breathing room. It's got two mesh panels on the side. And then depending on what you put in the front, you can have the open screen here like this, or you can use the bubble. It also has a screen top as well. You can actually zip this part open. So if you'd like it to be even more open for your cats, you can zip open this portion as well. Now I tend to leave that part zipped closed because it makes the backpack kind of fold around and on top of my cat. So I like to keep this closed so that it holds its shape just a little bit better. Now the bottom does come with a little tray on the bottom. However, the tray is not very firm. So what that means is that if I have my heavy cat in it, they do tend to sink through the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, hyphen. Not sure if you can see it in the video, but I will get a little lump down there sometimes when there is a cat in it. 
I find that that's more comfortable for me when wearing the backpack, but I'm not sure if it's more comfortable for the cat. So if you have a cat that is a little bit anxious about being in their backpack and not as chill as my cats, you might want to get a backpack that has a little bit more sturdy bottom that keeps it completely solid and still. However, the framework is really, really solid, and I am happy with how nicely this holds up. It also has these little things on the bottom to keep the backpack from slipping around. Now on the back of the backpack, like we mentioned before, it has this little attachment so that I can put a strap to carry it like a regular carrying bag. It also has these pads for comfort on the back of the backpack to help make it more comfortable for you um, when carrying your cat. One other thing that it has is a strap here which can go across your chest for extra security. I personally would prefer if there were one across the body as well so I have double security and that's simply because I go hiking with my cats um, in the backpack and so that just kind of distributes the weight a little bit better for me. Now one thing that I found which is probably not going to be a problem for everyone but it was a problem for me is that the straps for the backpack are really wide and I'm a very very tiny person so when I'm wearing the backpack the straps can sometimes rub on my arms while I'm walking um, because it's so wide on my shoulders so if you're a tiny person like me I'm 5'2 and really tiny framed then it might actually be a little bit uncomfortable for you with the straps but if you're a larger person you might not find that you have the same issue so the one thing that um, I was a little bit disappointed about with the backpack is the bubble now the space bubble is the cutest thing in the world and you're supposed to be able to detach um, the screen here and put the bubble on. I was able to walk around with my cats in the backpack with the bubble, but what I found is when I put the bubble on, um, and it might be this specific backpack and how it folds because they jump on it so often, but I found that if the bubble was on and I secured it and I pressed on it and made sure it was supposed to stay, if they jumped on the backpack a lot, the bubble would actually pop off. And for me, that was a really big safety security issue that I wanted to make sure they could not get out of the backpack. When my cats are in the backpack, I cannot risk them getting out. So I decided to use the screen instead. Now the screen has been really sturdy. I will press on it and it does not pop off. But that is something I would keep in mind when using the bubble with the backpack. If you're putting it on, make sure you press on the inside to make sure your cat won't pop it out on accident, as that did happen to me a few times. The only things that I did not love about the backpack were the bubble didn't really stay on very well, um, but with the screen, it does great. So if you're happy with the way it looks with the screen, I'm totally fine with it. It holds up great. The other thing that I didn't love about it was the straps didn't fit me very well. I don't think that that's an issue with the backpack. I think it's just not the right size backpack for me. The other thing that I found to be a little bit um, uncomfortable when I have two cats in the backpack is when I put them both inside the backpack it tends to dip um, under the backpack a little bit and so it's not super sturdy for them and I do find that the backpack kind of folds into the cat when there's a lot of weight in there overall I think it's a great cat backpack especially if you don't have two cats if you have one and you're a larger framed person um, and if you're using the screen it's super solid really well made and I'm excited to continue using this backpack on my adventures if you guys have any questions about this backpack please let me know in the comments below. Again, overall, I absolutely love it. There's only a few things I would change. And besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this. And maybe we'll review some other cat backpacks for you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>